In order to safely tow heavy loads, many trailers are equipped with electrically operated brakes. When connected to a vehicle equipped with an electronic trailer brake controller, these brakes are triggered by signals from the controller to help slow the vehicle and tow load safely and quickly. Some Toyota vehicles are equipped with an integrated trailer brake controller. Others are equipped with a trailer brake service connector, which enables the connection of a trailer brake controller without additional wiring or modification to the vehicle's electrical system. In either case, the trailer brakes are connected to the vehicle via the seven-pin connector at the rear of the vehicle, which is also used to connect the trailer's lights. For vehicles equipped with a trailer brake service connector, the service connector is located beneath the steering column on the left side. In vehicles equipped with an integrated trailer brake controller, the controls are located on the instrument panel. They include adjustments for gain, type, and trailer brake output. Some vehicles also have a trailer connection indicator in the multi-information display that turns green when trailer wiring has been connected. When properly configured, the MID display will display the current settings for gain, type, and trailer brake output. Once a trailer and its electrical wiring have been properly connected to the vehicle, the correct type of trailer brakes as installed on the trailer should be selected using the type control. Pushing the type button will cycle through the available choices, either electric or electric over hydraulic, which will appear in the display. Consult the towing equipment manufacturer's instructions for details on what type of braking system is fitted to your trailer. The manual trailer brake output slider applies the brakes on the trailer only. If the slider is used while also pressing the vehicle's brake pedal, the controller will send the greater of the two signals to the trailer brakes. The trailer brake controller also has settings for gain, which adjusts how forcefully the trailer brakes are applied. To correctly set the gain control, the vehicle and trailer should be driven on a level road free of traffic at a speed of 35 to 40 km per hour with an initial gain setting of 5.0. Apply the trailer brakes fully using the manual trailer brake output slider. This process should be repeated, adjusting the gain up or down using the plus or minus buttons until the trailer wheels are on the verge of lockup upon full application. Wheel lockup occurs when the trailer tires stop turning and skid. Lockup can be detected by having an observer watch the tires, by listening for tire squeal, or by seeing smoke from the trailer tires using rear view mirrors. If no lockup occurs at the maximum setting, have the trailer brakes and wiring checked by a qualified technician to be sure they are operating properly and in good condition and verify that your load does not exceed your vehicle's and trailer's load capacities. The gain should be reset each time the vehicle load, trailer load, road conditions or weather changes. Setting the gain value to zero will fully disable the trailer brake controller output. It should be noted that when stopping with ABS on slippery roads, output to the trailer brakes might be decreased to reduce the likelihood of trailer sway or brake lockup. However, trailers are not equipped with ABS and the trailer brake controller will not enable ABS functionality on your trailer. The features and functions described in this video might not be applicable to your Toyota model. See your owner's manual for details. Thanks for watching this Know Your Toyota video.